Okay, now let's look at question 7. Question 7, right, Mother conducted an experiment to find out how much energy different type of nuts have. So she counted, what happened is she actually counted the number of nuts needed to raise the temperature of a fixed volume of water by 1 degree Celsius. And the results are actually shown over here. So please take note over here first. Okay, first, in experiments question, please identify your measure variable and the change variable. Alright, so basically measure variable is it the amount of energy. This is your measure variable. Okay? Okay, now next, alright, you have to identify as well, okay, your change variable, which is different types of nuts. Different. The word different tells you a clue that it is really changed. So this is your change variable. Alright, so I, I, after identifying these two variables, okay, let's move on to the next part. Alright, basically this is the number of nuts needed by different types okay, to raise the temperature of water by 1 degree Celsius. So based on this, the question is just asking you, alright, what kind of energy does this nut possess? Please take note, nut is food. Okay, so they are, they are food. So always remember that food possesses chemical potential energy. So these nuts possesses chemical potential. The first question part A is straightforward. Alright, next. Okay, based on the results of the experiment, which type of nut? Then it's asking you, possesses the most energy, and you have to explain. So, what happens here is always remember if I want to identify what kind of nut, a single nut, pro pro produces the most energy, you have to make sure that since one nut can provide the most energy, it means that it requires lesser nuts. Okay, it requires lesser nuts to raise the temperature by 1 degree Celsius. Alright? So now, based on this, the one that requires lesser nuts is actually the macadamia nut. So this tells me that the macadamia nut is the one that possesses the most energy. And you have to explain. When you explain means that, okay, you have to tell me, you have to relate it to the table. You have to relate it to the above table here. So you have to say that it requires only three macadamia nuts to raise the temperature by one degree Celsius. Okay, showing that it has the most stored amount, stored energy within it, so it doesn't require so much nuts to raise it by one degree Celsius. So when there's more stored energy, it results in more heat energy being converted. Okay, so please write this down. Magdalena nut, and please mention, you have to relate to the table. So the table mentioned or show us that there's a least number of nuts needed to raise the temperature by one degree Celsius. So when least when there's least, least number of nuts, means that it has the most chemical potential energy that is able to be converted into heat energy. So you have to mention the energy conversion as well. Alright, so now let's look at part C. Okay, C you need to state two variables that must be kept the same. Okay, to carry out fair text. Now in every question this is the same. Okay, please remember that kept the same means it is not change or measure. Okay, so it's not a change variable or measure variable. This is why you have to identify what's a change variable. You have to identify what's a measure variable in this experiment. So the moment you identify those two variables, they are not the answer for part C. So what the two variables that must be, must be the same to carry out a fair test. Okay, you have to think there are many, many variables that must be the same. Alright? Could be okay, so they didn't mention anything else. So if you look at the experiment here, alright, what else can be the same? It can be the volume of water. Because volume of water, if there's more for different nuts, means that the experiment is not fair. It's naturally the temperature when there's more volume means it requires even more heat to raise it, to raise its temperature by one degree Celsius. So it will not be a fair test. Next, it can be temperature of water because if initial temperature is is, is lesser and then it will affect the reading as well. Alright. Next can be distance. Alright, distance between the nut and the water. Okay, if you were to look carefully if there's a further distance means heat can travel to the surrounding air. Or more heat is able to travel to the surrounding air. So your experiment will not be fair if 
the water is further, much further away. Okay, so you affect the results greatly. So based on this, all right, you can. There are a few variables that you can say: amount of water or volume of water. You can also say that it's the temperature of water. Okay, you can say the distance between the burning light and the water also affects the results greatly. So these are the few variables that must be kept in mind. And just to mention too. Okay, so please take note. Do not just say water. You have to be precise. The color, the type, the volume. So amount of water or volume of water is acceptable. All right. Temperature is acceptable. Distance between the nuts and the water is acceptable as well. Okay, so you can just write any two of these.